What's going on, y'all? So, y'all, the Monarch Butterfly is super popular. They have two options. Um, this one, I want to say I got from either shoplikejordan.com last year or buylikejordan.com. Now, those two are affiliates for different companies. Um, but I love this little Monarch Butterfly. So, y'all, I don't like how they look flat. You see how it's flat? Y'all, all I do is I bend that just a little bit like that so it gives it some life so we're fluffing out our 60919 now you'll notice i'm using two different colors of 60919 i am using the um spring what they consider the spring 60919 but i'm also going to be using the fall version of 60919 okay so on this, we're just taking a little bit of an extra step, y'all. Normally, I whole stem it, but this stem is just a little too long for me. So I'm just going to cut that off right there. And we are using a 14-inch grapevine, oval grapevine, for this one. Okay, so we're going to... I want to just do like a layout, y'all. If you ever struggled, you know, you can always just kind of do a layout, kind of figure it out, and be like, okay... I think this is what I want. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. For me, that's the way I learned. So we're gonna need two of each of these stems. Two of the fall version of 60919. I like this. I like these. Okay, so we're kind of just layering these. So that's kind of what I want. So you see how we've come together and we put the bright one and then the darker colored one. You know, I'm gonna take that stem right here, this one, and we're gonna layer that to create like, not an ombre effect, but a layered um, 60919. Do you see how pretty, now nice and layered that is and mixed? And I'm just going to save me a step right here. And I'm going to zip tie these three together, y'all. So I just stuck with the shades of orange. But now we've created a full, really pretty full stem here. Okay, so we're going to do the other one. So on this one, we started with the fresh, the... Um, the spring 60919, then we did the fall, and then we did the spring. So on this one, I'm going to do the fall, the spring, and now the fall again. Just marrying these all together, y'all. So just putting these all together. And, you know, I really thought about it. I don't think I'm going to use these sunflowers because I feel the sunflowers actually might be a little too much. Now, I know, too much? So you see how on this, you see these? This is why I'm glad I have these pieces left because I feel like it's not long enough, but I can glue that in on that one on the bottom and then I can glue this one in up at the top. So we're just kind of marrying those two together. I'm going to run a zip tie, y'all. Zip ties are kind of my best friend. Let me make sure that that wreath is sitting correctly it is me mr bougie too much yes so i'm just putting two zip ties right through that grapevine what will the press have to say about this you know? Okay, so we're going to just kind of fluff out some of this. Now you'll see I have a big gap, like right here. Y'all, that's where my bow's gonna go. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in our little stems that we have left over of 60919. So on this one, I did the fall, spring, fall. 
So naturally I need to do the spring on the bottom, like that. And let me do that before I ruin this paper on here. So you see how I just extended it? It just made that wreath grow just a little bit, y'all. Yeah, so really it doesn't take a lot to make a nice full wreath. I know um, you sometimes people see like my wreaths and they're like, oh my gosh, you put a lot of stuff in there. Y'all, the other day I made a wreath and I literally had four stems in it. That was it. So look how nice and full this is, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our butterfly. And I like to make it like little, like nestled right in there. Now this does have the um, sawtooth hanger on the back. So that's perfect. We can just attach it through there. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Just running that through there. So I'm noticing something right here. There's no hanger right here on the bottom. So I do need to come in with my metal hole punch. If Damon's watching, Damon, look away. Look away, Damon, look away. <laughs> and I do need to poke a little hole right in that wing. I'm justifying it by, it's gonna be covered by the flowers. Because y'all know he doesn't like seeing the pipe cleaner. Okay. So y'all, now we've added our butterfly in. So now we're going to make our bow. Okay, so I've got a tail. And do two nine inch loops okay so while holding all of that we're also going to bring in my cabana stripe okay And we're going to do two, four 10 inch loops. So now we're going to make two 11 inch loops of that. So just holding that together. Now we're going to zip tie it all together, y'all. that through the grapevine so that's how I had that little gap y'all for this design this is um hold on, I'm trying to get this through the grapevine here so now we're just gonna cut this off I'm going to cut this one as well, and then 
now we've got our bow in our wreath, y'all. Bring in some of that greenery, which is what we'll do. We'll do that. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit more orange, y'all. Just a little bit more orange. So we're going to put four on the top, four on the bottom. So we're coming in through our grapevine. And just adding these little touches of this. It's like a leather fern. Okay, so now I'm just going to add in some of these monarch butterflies. These did come from Michael's. They are part of the Ashland butterfly collection. So I'm going to add three of these. So these are on wire. And all I'm going to do is wrap that wire around some of those stems. So this one I'm actually going to glue onto my ribbon right there, y'all. Okay, so we've glued that onto our ribbon. And then now... We've got our last and final one up here. Y'all, super quick um, grapevine wreath, but really a really pretty grapevine wreath that didn't take a lot of product, y'all. Like minimal product. Literally, what is it? Four. Four stems of 60919 and one bush. And some ribbon and three little butterflies and a butterfly sign. But y'all, if you didn't have the butterfly sign, you don't have to have the butterfly sign.